I make a lot of roasted cauliflower, but my family wanted something a little bit different. So I decided my love of Mexican incorporated with my love for cauliflower and what's on trend now, steaks. We're gonna beef up this vegetarian dish and make a Mexican inspired cauliflower steaks out on the grill. Hey guys, I'm Shireen with Cook This. I'm making a vegetarian dish. So although I call this recipe steaks, there's no steaks involved. What makes it a steak is the cut. We're gonna make it nice and thick. We're gonna cut them really thick, giving us that meaty texture. And you know, if you've been to a lot of restaurants in Philadelphia, it's on a lot of high-end popular restaurants. It's super on trend, you may even see it on one of your favorite food magazines at the checkout counter in the grocery store. So we're going to add our own little twist on this trend and my love of Mexican really is awesome for this cauliflower. So the first thing we're doing is I'm grating my lime. So we have two limes. We're going to make a little lime vinaigrette and I need my knife. So I'm going to freshly squeeze some limes, add some olive oil and we're going to sweeten it with some sugar make our vinaigrette and then slice our cauliflower into steaks now for our olive oil so no extra virgin is really required just an olive oil is good it's going to give it that nice fruity flavor and some sugar so we're going to cut through that acid and sweeten it up a little bit just whisk it season with a little salt and pepper now for our cauliflower. So I found by testing this many times that the smaller the head, you don't want a too, too much of a teeny tiny cauliflower head, but the smaller the head, the better. So you have more of that core and the core is what's going to hold the steaks together. So this size is pretty good. So you just want to trim your leaves like I did. Take your serrated knife. Now your first cut, you will kind of uh, start with florets, but that's okay. Hold on to those, trim the bottom so it's nice and flat. So the florets, we can still pop them on a little tray and cook those as well. But you want about a half an inch thick, so your core is intact. But this, I, I just think of these as mini steaks. So there's one, and then you just wanna slice it right down the center. So now you just wanna brush your steaks, your cauliflower steaks, with just a little bit, about a third of our lime vinaigrette. Okay, so a little goes a long way. So we just wanna brush it to the point where it doesn't stick, it gives a good flavor, but this vinaigrette is gonna be our dressing on, at the end as well. So I have some, also to spice it up a little bit, I have some ancho chili powder. You can find this in the dried form. It's just dried poblanos and garlic powder. And we're just gonna season that. So just go right over the top all over the cauliflower and then some salt and pepper. So we have that little spice in there, that delicious garlic flavor. We've got the lime. Wait until you see how delicious this is when the cauliflower is charred. Oh, what a great flavor. Oh, look at that. So you have that beautiful char and that's what's going to give us great flavor. All right, let's check on our steaks. Oh, they look beautiful. So you just want to take a paring knife and if you insert it right into the core, you can tell how it's cooked. So it needs a little bit more. I'm going to say another eight to 10 minutes for our big guys, but it's already been about 10 minutes. So I'm going to pull off the small mini steaks and florets. They're cooked perfect. So now for the pepitas. So this is what we're going to garnish our cauliflower steaks with. Basically they're pumpkin seeds. So it's just a Spanish term for pumpkin seeds. So just to warm them through, you want to put them on a little bit of little piece of foil. And then that way they can warm through right on the grill. Fresh right off the grill. So now we just want to chop some cilantro. So these are all bright, fresh, beautiful Mexican flavors. 
So we have the papitas. We're going to garnish those right on top. Our cilantro, so that nice freshness. So we'll just go right on top so you have that nice crunchiness. So we've got texture, we've got freshness. We've got the remainder of our vinaigrette. I'm going to pull these up here so you can kind of see. Can you see that? And then just dollop that vinaigrette right on top. It's so fresh and that nice, that nice bit of sugar just really sweetens up the vinaigrette because you have that heat from the ancho. Okay, now we have some creaminess from cotilla. So the cotilla is, you'll find it in a wedge. It's a Mexican cheese, so really any Mexican cheese will work and it crumbles beautifully. But when you buy it in the wedge, it just stays nice and moist versus buying it crumbled. It's better in the wedge form. So you just want to crumble that right on top. It's mild, gives a nice little tang, nice little salt kick. Look at that. And to top it off, look how beautiful. This is like a party on a sheet tray. It's bright, it's colorful, it's fresh. It's so good. Pair this with a steak. What more do you need? For this recipe, go to the newspaper's website and visit me on Facebook and Twitter for more culinary tips. I'm Shereen with Cook This. I'll see you next week.